beautiful humans. I just pulled up to the gym, got done training my clients, and it's Monday, which means it's shoulder day for me, shoulder rehab. I am wearing the new Paragon stuff launching today. I did like a whole little try on on my Instagram story. I didn't get it with enough time to like do a full YouTube video, and I only got four pieces, so I didn't wanna, you know, take the time to do an entire video just over four pieces, but I did do a little review on my IG story. I have the Columbia crop top, obsessed with it. This is like a very flattering fit, in my opinion. Like, I don't like muscle tees that go out super far, but this cuts in enough where I just feel like it looks, makes you look strong but feminine at the same time, and it's very, very soft. And then you guys can't see the leggings yet, but I have the Sakura leggings in rose wine in a size small. Top is a medium. I did mention this on my story as well. Um, the tops fit true to size. The bottoms, if you're in between sizes, I would size up. The smalls fit. They're just like kind of tighter around my calves. Once I get them past my calves, they, everything fits really good. Um, but anyway, I wanted to touch on something because I had people asking. I posted a little thing on Instagram of Chris sitting in urgent care with his thumb all wrapped up. Sundays are a work day for me, so I was sending out programs and working on client stuff all day yesterday and asked him to cut up, or asked him to make the buffalo chicken, which requires chopping onions, and I'm working on programs and I hear, oh no, oh no, and I turn around and he's holding his thumb, he sliced his thumb. So we got that all glued back together and he's doing great, but yeah. Anyway, let's head in, I'm gonna warm up probably just walking on an incline and then we're going to get into today's shoulder rehab workout. Woo -woo. I'm laying down at the compartment. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to die. I see you in the wild cause this Workout complete. It was very good. I attempted to like try to keep my hair in decent condition um, because I have to record a try on later today and I totally forgot about that when I showered this morning and blew dry my hair. I'm like, well, I don't want to have to like do this again. So this is going to have to work for the try on. I did get my smoothie. All right. I have to go over to my dad's, help him with sales tax and then go home, record that try on, get to a lot of emails, and then like start getting things together for Wednesday when we leave. Chris and I are also waiting to hear back about the apartment we applied for. 
there's literally no reason <laughs> that we wouldn't get it, but just because we haven't heard back yet, Chris is like, I'm anxious, which I get, but we applied on late Saturday, so obviously Sunday didn't count. All right, home we go. Try on, recorded, done, almost edited, at least like as much as I can edit because I like to work out in the clothes, so I still have to work out and everything, but everything is super cute. Um, yeah, and then I have the buffalo chicken going right there. If I remember, I'll try to link that recipe in the bottom of here again. Um, I sent Chris a picture after with just like one of those warning labels like you would see before like, you know, TV shows or movies where they're doing, like the movie Jackass, you know, like all of that stuff where it's like, there's like a little disclaimer before. I set, took a picture of the buffalo chicken and put like the little stars and said, no fingers were injured in the making of this dish or something like that. I thought it was hilarious because he obviously had a little thumb situation yesterday. Um, so yeah, that buffalo chicken is going right now. I made myself some coffee as a little pick me up. And my dad just called and said that he got a call from Best Buy saying that my camera is ready to be picked up, which means, I, I assume that means that they fixed it. So I will be returning this one and I'll just get my other camera back. That little Miss Layla broke. So that's good. That's another thing I have to do tonight, but that is fine. I still have to go to my dad's to help him with the taxes. It's almost 4.30. Oh. I have so much to do today still. I feel like my day just started. That's not good. I think all of the Paragon items or a lot of them were sold out, but they did end up giving me a link. So if you guys decide to purchase anything from Paragon, I will link it down below. You can either use my code Kelly Y or hit the link or both, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they were super nice to give me a code for this launch. So by the time you're seeing this, once again, I don't know what all is left, but they did give me that code, very sweet of them. Those tank tops are so nice. That's like right up my alley. All right, I'm gonna answer some emails. Chris should be home soon. We'll probably go get my camera. Go to my dad's. I kinda wanna fly my drone, but it looks like it's gonna rain again. All right. Good morning, here we go. Uh, the end of our hamstring and glute day, what we're doing is we are going into 
um, a full a full swing uh, where you're actually trying to get your kettlebell down and physically behind your heels. Um, what that's gonna allow, and you can actually see it, is her hamstring and her glute are all stretching. Um, as soon as you get <clears throat> that, you are gonna go into what I call them rock star jumps. Um, you are jumping, trying to get the heel to hit your butt every single time. Um, what you don't wanna do is have your knees come forward. Um, so you wanna keep your knees going straight down for the most part and then you're gonna tap and uh, use that hamstring to actually get the heel all the way up. Uh, then you're gonna go to a kettlebell swing, a traditional kettlebell swing where you're just coming up uh, around the sternum or higher um, and it's just gonna really, really, really focus on hitting that thrust. Um, so you're actually squeezing your butt at the very top of it. Um, but it's going, what we did was a set of 10, heavy, heavy, heavy um, 10 to where you can barely get all 10. Um, then you do 12 swings where you're trying to tap behind the heel. 12 rock star jumps and then 20, 10, yeah, 12 traditional swings. Uh, how does everything feel, Kelly? Good. Everything feels great. Is you out of breath at all from that one? Yeah. That's the tough, that was tough. Um, and I, what I had her do was these are back to back to back. There's no real rest time in between. So you're really trying to make sure you get your heart rate up. Um, so one of the fun ways we use kettlebell, um, she killed it. She absolutely rocked it. Good work, Kel. Good morning, you guys. It's obviously the next day. That workout just kicked my butt. Um, I didn't end up recording anything last night. I forgot my camera when I went over to my dad's. It sounded like my car was making weird noise. We're good. Um, and then I got home and Chris wanted me to train him uh, for a leg workout. So I went to the gym with him, put him through a leg workout, and then I went home and just relaxed for a little bit. So yeah, that was <laughs> that was my day, very chill. I ha Well, I had a lot of work to get done yesterday as I told you guys, so there's just a lot that needs to get done before I leave tomorrow. But the nice thing is because I have that computer now, I can bring it with me and do a lot of, I hopefully don't have to do a lot of work when I'm there, but if I do have to work, I can, which is great. I also got the call that the camera was ready to switch. So Chris is gonna meet me over at Best Buy today to switch out this camera to get my other one. All right, let's head home. Mm. Oh, you guys, by the time you're seeing this, you haven't seen the try on yet because I'm just wearing the first one for the first time and I have a couple more to try, like wear during a workout, but this is one of the sets that's a part of the try on. Tomorrow. What are you doing? I excited to go to the lake. Excited to go to the lake. I have my camera back, first of all. Um, so that's very exciting. But I just got back from the grocery store. I got we're gonna eat out for lunch probably both the days and probably dinner one of the nights. Um but I wanted to make sure we had just some stuff to snack on at the lake house. So there's like burgers and hot dogs in here lettuce, apples, and then there's this whole thing is fruit. There's grapes and clementines. The necessity got some monster chips, buns, s'more stuff, duh. Uh, wine. Where's the white claw? Oh, white claws down here. Water, Diet Coke. I don't drink Diet Coke, but I figured someone might. And then these are to go out, start cleaning the boat. I've been at my dad's doing laundry, did grocery shopping. Um, so we have most of the stuff we need ready for the lake, but it's almost four o'clock and I hadn't eaten since like 11. So I just got home and made my buffalo chicken on a sweet potato. It's so good. I will have the recipe linked down below. I've had a lot of people reaching out because I've had so many people tagging me and they're like, can you share the recipe? So. That will be linked down below again. I've mentioned this in the past. I don't follow that recipe to a T. 
um, I really just do the chopped up onions, then chicken on top, the red hot buffalo sauce, and then, or the original red hot sauce, and then a little bit of pepper and parsley, and that's really it. Was that fun? She just knocked this off the counter. Was that fun for you? Crazy cat. But anyway, this is my meal. I've already started devouring it, as you can see. It's so good. And you're waiting patiently, huh? Except not so patiently. It is raining outside and we're still in bed. That was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little all over the place again. Um, but because I leave today, Chris and I were just kind of hanging out yesterday and we were trying to fly my drone for a little bit and I've just been like super tired so I ended up falling asleep at like 5 yesterday and not getting up until 7.30 and I was still super tired after that so I apparently am going to have to rest a little bit this weekend because my body is just like not functioning very well right now. I need more sleep. The little one wakes me up every single night from usually from like 2 to 3. Tonight she didn't wake me up until um closer to five which that was when i was getting up anyway so that's fine but i will see you guys in the next video which will either be the try on yeah it'll probably be the lavavi try on um and then the bachelorette footage which i think will be so fun i can't wait to go um if you guys enjoy the video give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the little bell notification yeah and i'll see you in the next video